I am going to show you how to distribute DC power to two Arduino devices. It's easy to do with simple connectors and some soldering. This is the panel I have built for my Star Wars room. Here is my Star Wars communications interceptor. And this is my neutron star detector. I am powering these two Arduino devices together from a single power source. Here is a diagram for DC power distribution to two Arduino devices. I use an ordinary 12 volt DC power adapter with a 5 mm jack. I connect a female 5 mm socket to a small terminal with two wires, one for a 12 volt in red and the other for the ground in black. One side of the terminal, the ground side, is connected to the ground pin on the Arduino. The other side of the terminal, the 12 volt, is connected to one side of a switch. The other side of the switch is connected to the VIN pin on the Arduino. It is safe to provide 12 volt to the VIN pin. Arduino has a 5 volt linear regulator, so the 12 volt is reduced to 5 volt. I use another female jack socket connected to the 12 volt and ground at the terminal. We can then use a 5 mm jack connector. This way it is easy to disconnect the two devices when I need to service one of them. The 12 volt and ground wires of the 5 mm male jack connector are wired to another terminal. One side of the terminal, the ground side, is connected to the ground pin on the second Arduino. The other side of the terminal, the 12 volt, goes through a switch and is connected to the VIN pin on the second Arduino. Now let's take a look at the real thing. This is a 12 volt DC uh, adapter that I use. This is a very common uh, DC uh, power adapter. This one is 12 volt, 1 ampere. Here is the male and female jack connectors. Uh, this one are very easy to use and very easy to uh, solder. Here is a look at the female jack connector. It has uh, two terminals. The longest is for the ground. Now let's take a look inside. This is the terminal adapter where the 12 volt and the ground from the DC power source are connected. The 12 volt red wire goes through this switch and from the switch to the VIN pin on the Arduino. All the other wires that you see are for controlling the 10 LEDs and the two switches of the Star Wars communications interceptor. I use these dual row screw terminals. I cut it to a length to get four terminals, two for the 12 volt and two for the ground. Here is a better view inside the unfinished neutron star panel. You can see the two by two terminal and the connections. For this panel, I use a 12 volt switch with a red light indicating that the device is receiving power. I plan to use this flex wire conduit to hide the jack connections between my devices. You can buy this kind of conduit at a hardware store. Here is a test I have made with section of the conduit painted. You apply the heat to shape the conduit and it retains its shape at room temperature. This is how the conduit connector looks like before painting.